Hi, everybody. My name is Nisha Trebetti, and I'm a senior consultant with MBA Mission. And today, I'm here to talk to you about the Wharton essays for this coming application season. And as you might see, if you've seen last year's application, Wharton kept the essays the same as last year. And so the two essays are as follows. One, what do you hope to gain professionally from the Wharton MBA? And two, describe an impactful experience or accomplishment that is not reflected elsewhere in your application. How will you use what you learn through that experience to communicate, to contribute to the Wharton community? So as you can see from these essays, and before we dive deeply into the specifics of, of both essays, you can see that Wharton clearly wants you to really understand its program. They want to make sure that you understand the Wharton experience, the resources that Wharton offers that will help you in your career, and how you'll contribute to the Wharton experience through the experiences and the accomplishments you've had so far. So before you even try to tackle the essays, you want to make sure that you thoroughly research the school. So that's going to involve perhaps visiting campus, going to a local info session, going on a class visit if you uh, do get a chance to go to campus, talking to students and alumni, both on campus and remotely, and uh, checking out you know, Wharton's website and making sure you, know, you understand the various academic and extracurricular and professional offerings. So definitely do your research because it will pay dividends when you write these essays because it'll help you provide specific examples of what you'll gain and what you'll contribute. So with that, let's take a look at the first essay. So the first essay again is, what do you hope to gain professionally from the Wharton MBA? And if it seems like a straightforward question, that's because it is. They, you know, clearly they just want to know what are your goals, your short-term and long-term goals, and of course, why. They want to, they, schools always want to know what drives you professionally and personally. And then how are you going to, you know, how are you going to meet those goals? So since you feel that you can't meet these goals tomorrow, clearly there, are, you know, if you're applying for an MBA, you feel that there are certain skills and experiences you need in order to realize your short and long-term goals. So they want to know, okay, what's holding you back from these, the goals that you have? And then the meat of it is how will you gain those skills and experiences, the ones that you've identified, how will you gain them at Wharton? through its specific resources uh, in the professional arena. So again, you really wanna make sure you understand what your goals are, what drives them, and then how will you gain the skills and experiences that you need in order to reach those goals at Wharton through its resources. So again, this will definitely require some research on your part. And in breaking down this question further, you'll want to think about, well, you know, in terms of your career, you know, where do you want to go? Where do you see yourself post MBA? Then where do you see yourself five, 10 years down the line? And just as importantly, what motivates those ambitions? And relating to that as a second point. So while this is a forward thinking essay, it's really going to be about your career goals post MBA, it does help to provide context in terms of, well, what sparked these goals? Is it something about your current role that you've realized that you want to do more of or less of, or, what's, or what is it in your professional and personal life that has led you to these goals? Um, and then in addition to that, you know, there are, you know, to, to, in order to meet your short and long-term goals, there might be some skills that you've already gained from your career to date, but then there are going to be skills that you know you still need in order to, in order to meet these goals. And that's where the Wharton MBA comes in. And so this is where you want to explain, okay, well, these are the skills and experiences that I have. These are the skills and experiences I need in order to attain the short and term, long-term goals that I have. And then here's how I'll gain them at Wharton. And so with this, again, you really need to understand what Wharton has to offer, both within and outside the classroom. So these are specific classes, specific professional clubs, hands-on activities, uh, study abroad programs, really gain an understanding of what those are and how they'll help you reach your goal. And so what you don't wanna do is, for example, provide a laundry list of 10 classes you'll join, five clubs that you'll join, and a smattering of other resources. You want to be selective, less is more here, because you want to be able to, for each resource that, that you identify, you want to explain why is it going to help you meet your ambition. So for example, maybe you're, uh, transitioning from a career in PR and advertising to brand management. So you have certain you know, skills that you've gained about in, in the realm of marketing communication, but as a brand manager, you also need to make decisions based on non-marketing considerations, you know, such as operations and finance. And so you'll take classes in operations and finance in order to get a well-rounded business acumen 
in addition to courses in marketing strategy to round out your knowledge. So th th that's a couple of, um, those are a couple of examples. And then maybe there's a, a hands-on resource that will enable you to, you know, with a team of Wharton students, provide a marketing, you know, a response to a marketing challenge uh, that a real company has. Uh, so again, this is an example of how you make a case for why you'll take advantage of certain resources, because you can't do everything, you need to make choices, and how will it help you meet the goals that you're setting for it? So again, make sure you thoroughly understand your goals and what Wharton has to offer that'll help you meet your goals. So the next essay question is about, it can be pro professional, but it can be personal as well. So it asks you to, again, describe an impactful experience or accomplishment that's not reflected elsewhere in your application, how will you use what you learned through that experience to contribute to the Wharton community. And before we talk about this further, one thing just to keep in mind, is that not reflected elsewhere in your application doesn't mean that it's not mentioned at all. You know, so for example, maybe you have a two line bullet point in your resume about a work accomplishment or an extracurricular accomplishment that you're really proud of. You can still write about it because there's only so much that can be captured, captured in a bullet point. Um, but the essay, you know, will go beyond what you accomplished and we'll talk about, well, how did you accomplish it? What are the challenges that you ran into? How did you collaborate with others to meet your goal? How did you lead a team? And of course, you know, what you learned. And so in the first half of the essay, regardless of what you choose, you can choose a professional and a personal experience. You want to really show the reader what you went through. So you don't just want to tell the story in terms of, okay, you know, first I did this, then I did that, and it, it meant a lot to me, you know? You want to be able to show them, you know, what was it like being in that room with, with a team trying to debate on one course or an action versus another? What was it like to, you know, to teach a class, uh, let's say a classroom of students and, you know, really turn around their knowledge? You know, really show them uh, what you've been through. And so the way to think about it is, um, think about telling the story as if you were explaining it to a close colleague of yours or you know, someone where you know you were really trying to get them interested in the story. And so you were giving them the little, you weren't just you know, giving a flat account of what happened, but really providing the details about what you went through as well as the challenges you ran into. And if you do so, you're going to give the reader perspective on how you conduct yourself and how you achieve. And that's really why Wharton is asking this question. They want to know, you know how do you uh, go about your accomplishments? Um, what are your strengths? And what's your view on achievement? And again, you know, the experience can be professional or personal, but what you want to do is think about one, which one best showcases your achievements? What is something that you're just really proud of that you learned uh, a lot, you know, through? Is it, you know, maybe it's something from work, maybe it's something outside of work. It can also show your strengths. And so then what you want to think about strategically is, well, what are the strengths that I want to communicate to the admissions committee? Is it my ability to rally people around a cause? Is it about really making an impact on the community? Is it about really, you know, starting with an entrepreneurial idea and taking it somewhere? You know, what is it that you really want the admissions committee to know about you and what you're good at? And along with that, what do you want them to know about your character? Do you want them to know about your, you know, your persistence, your humility, your creativity, you know, your ability to lead and, you know, influence people you don't have authority over? Think about it, what it is about your character that you want the admissions committee to understand so that they truly understand who you are. And that's always their goal to really understand who you are as an applicant and as a person. And so with that, you know, once you've described that accomplishment or experience, the second half of the essay is about, well, what did you learn and how will you use that learning to contribute to the Wharton community? And so this is where you really want to show strong self-awareness um, in reflecting on well, what were those key takeaways? What did I learn about that experience? Clearly, maybe there were some things you did well, and then maybe there were things that made you realize that, hey, you know, I want to um, be able to, you know, bring those learnings into the Wharton community and even learn from others. And so what this, this is going to require is for you to be specific about how you contribute. So for example, you wouldn't just want to say, um, you know, in this in this uh, accomplishment, I really learned what it's like to collaborate as a team. So at Whart Wharton, I'm going to show strong teamwork skills. Well, I mean, that's not, you know, that's that might be true, but you need to be specific. You know, in, in which settings do you anticipate being in teams? Maybe it's your learning team in a, you know, in your strategy class. Maybe it's a, you know, maybe it's the, the team that you're going to work with on, um, you know, on a hands-on learning project. Maybe it's a, a project that you're going to work on with your fellow officers as part of a as part of a professional club. So really be clear on 
what is it about the Wharton experience that you'll take advantage of? And what are the specific settings in the school where you'll be able to bring certain learnings that, um, that come about through an experience or an accomplishment? So again, you really want to be able to show strong awareness of what you learned and what you're capable of contributing. And then the specific settings at Wharton, whether it's in the classroom, um, in a professional setting, or in an extracurricular activity, that you'll be able to contribute those learnings and those strengths that you realized you had. So again, you'll want to do some uh, reflection and some research on the Wharton experience and what you envision to be your own Wharton experience. And so, you know, speaking of research, there are a couple of resources that MBA Mission has that will give you an understanding of the Wharton application as well as just the Wharton experience in general. So first, I recommend checking out our written essay analysis, which is available on our blog. And it talks about the various points that um, that I went over, what the Wharton essays, how to approach the essays, and of course, why are the schools asking the essays in the first place? What do they want to know through asking these questions? And second, you definitely want to check out our Wharton Insider's Guide, which talks about the student experience at Wharton, what's campus life like, what are the what are the career opportunities that you know that Wharton students take advantage of, and what are other ways that you know in through which Wharton becomes uh, Wharton students become involved on campus. So definitely check those out. Um, and with that, thanks so much for listening and best of luck on your Wharton applications and on all of your applications this year.